Is each planet made of different stuff? Why is an Earth as big as Jupiter? Are some planets way older than others? Why don't the planets run into each other? We see Mars and Venus in the night sky. We marvel at the bright colors of Jupiter and the breathtaking rings around Saturn. We look forward to those days of early spring when the sunshine warms our faces. But how did the bodies with which we share our solar system come to be? What forces of nature created our sun and put Earth and the other planets in orbit around it, and moons in orbit around them? In this video, we'll try to answer those questions. We'll also take a closer look at each of the planets whose names we learn in elementary school. It's science that helps reveal our very beginnings. So let's explore the origins of the solar system. Lots of us can look at images sent back from space and feel a sense of awe and adventure. It's humbling to think that tiny Earth in our solar system is but a small part of our galaxy and the infinite universe. But the story of how our celestial neighborhood came to be is pretty interesting. It's a story of incredibly powerful scientific processes. As we tell this story, you have to keep in mind that when we talk about the formation of something as large and complex as a star or a planet, it didn't happen overnight. When astronomers talk about a short time period, they might be talking about a hundred million years. Did the solar system just form out of thin air? The solar system formed from a swirling cloud of dust and gas when it collapsed into a rotating disk about five billion years ago. A star, our sun, grew in the middle of the disk. The scientific name for the cloud that created it is the solar nebula. The very word nebula shares its origins with the word nebulous, which means vague, hazy, or lacking form. The important thing to remember in order to understand this is that all particles are attracted to one another by gravity. What happened to that loosely swirling cloud was a process of contraction called gravitational collapse. If the cloud of gas and dust becomes dense enough, the force of gravity will cause it to collapse into a star.